All right, a great winning Wednesday to everybody. And uh, thanks for tuning in to the Northwest Race Report. Got a cool show for you tonight. Um, man, sitting in the house with me is uh, none other than the man they call One Time. One Time Shane Smith here is our, uh, our guest host. And uh, welcome to the show, Shane. Oh, well, thanks for having me, Terry. Glad to, glad to make the trip down here. Yeah. Uh, we'll be getting to Shane a little bit later on, but it sounds like you got some uh, pretty exciting news for everybody uh, coming up. Yeah, definitely got some big things happening uh, as we're getting into our little off season and uh, cool things for the summer. Oh, awesome. So we'll be back with that shortly. Uh, we've got some uh, good stuff coming for you. We've got 13 uh, year old sensation Justin DeMar is going to be one of our two. Uh, in the seat guest tonight. And then we're also going to have calling in live from Daytona, uh, former NASCAR Northwest Tour driver Dave Goulet going to join us. And uh, he's just going to be talking to us about what's going on back there, the prepping going on for the uh, great American race at Daytona 500. And we're going to have some results from Slideways Saturdays. So you know why, everybody? Grab your helmet, strap in, and uh, get ready for a great show tonight. Um, race happenings. Uh, just got this news, got to talk to him today. Great guy, um, doing lots of good stuff over in the Boise area. And uh, big shout out, first of all, to Dan Watkins. Thanks for tuning in, Mr. Watkins. Always good to have you here. Um, the e-cart group, and you might know them. They've got an online presence with their e-shifter cart and e-four-cycle online store. Uh, they're having a grand opening and a ribbon cutting ceremony to celebrate their new cart racing store, from 11 to 2 on February 21st. So they've got a new storefront going on over there. Um, they're going to have Buy Idaho on hand, who is a, they're kind of like a, a chamber of commerce type group that helps promote new businesses. They're going to have the barbecue guy in the house, and he'll have uh, free hot dogs and hamburgers, and, and then as well as his own uh, lunch menu that you can purchase while you're over there. But uh, James says, you know, everybody's welcome and encouraged to come by if you can and help celebrate. There's going to be some great giveaways. Uh, they're going to have grand opening sales, some great deals on merchandise, chassis, uh, all kinds of cool things. Um, and you can find them at 3236 Amity Road in Boise, Idaho. And uh, there's going to be chassis, engines, parts on display, as well as information for uh, those, the newbies that are there. Uh, just looking to get into karting uh, or been in just a little while. Schedules, track, uh, track list, info, all kinds of stuff. Class structure, engine, safety. It's going to be pretty cool. So um, I, I got to give a big shout out to uh, James O'Brien and the entire uh, e-cart group. That's just uh, that's good stuff going on in Boise there. Um, what do you think of all that, Shane? That's pretty cool. Yeah, no, it's really cool. Idaho seems to be really stepping up with their racing and uh, in all aspects of it. So it's nice to see. You know, the salsa queen is here, Christy Mayo in the house. I'm going to tell you, if you haven't had her salsa uh, race fans, uh, it's to die for. Um, but be ready. It, it, it's got a little zip to it. I, I think she makes it pretty mild for us northerners. Yeah, I, I think she might put it in her race fuel a little bit because that thing's got some, it's got some kick to it. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, coming up also, now I just got a call. Uh, uh, and Shane, this kind of goes in par, baby, with some of the news you got going. Joe Torres, he's a member of the uh, Arizona Cardinal Association, and he's going to be putting on a cool uh, event. It's an endurance race for the KT guys. And, and so hear me out. Here's how it's going to work. It, it's, uh, it's for all Yamaha KT 100 owners, only it's one chassis with two drivers. Each driver is going to run a heat race. Um and then the final, it'll be set up just like normal, right? I mean, it doesn't matter who was driving it. So one driver will run the first heat. The other driver runs the second heat. And then for the main event, you line up like you normally would, combination of the points. But um, what's going to happen is uh, before the main event, they're going to make you draw a, a, uh, a pill to see who starts first because it's going to be a 50-lap main. One guy has to drive 25. The other guy has to drive 25. But they're going to make you draw a pill for the lowest number who's going to start first. So I guess so. if you've got a guy that says, uh, well, my best guy, one's better than the other, they're going to have the strategy of he'll, he'll run the last leg. Well, not if you draw the pill. It's going to take the strategy out of the whole thing. So after the first 25, they're going to have a five-minute break to switch drivers. You get to replace one tire excuse me, of your choice. Fill it with fuel and check air pressure. That's that's it. That's the all, only changes you get. And then they go on to the uh, 
the rather you know they start the the, the last twenty five. How cool is that? that that's pretty awesome. I, I mean, that's really cool. That's a cool way to. That's I, I mean, that's totally something different. So, what he's looking for is you know to to kind of get some feedback. He want he wants to make it big. I'm sure he'll be contacting you, Smith. So, but you know he wants to. He wants everybody to, to chime in um, and give him some input and, and let him know, you know, if you can make it. He kind of wants a head count of, of who's coming. So you can reach him at uh, JT, that's John Tom Balling, B-A-L-L-I-N-G, 44 at gmail.com. And he is trying to get a head count, wants everybody with a KT100 to come run this event. He's working on some good prizes uh, and giveaways for the event. And it's going to be sometime in May, he knows that, so the exact date is going to follow. So, um, I mean, what do you think? You think is that something we could get the Yamaha guys to go down for there? or I'd be pretty cool, you know, um, depending on when he picks it. If you, you know, we've got a long weekend coming up uh, there, and uh, you might get some people down there. It'd be, it's You know, a cool event like that can definitely draw a crowd. Yeah, I mean, and, and it, you know, here's a cool it, – it's something different. It's not the same uh, – it's, it's not the same old thing, you know, and uh, – so that's pretty cool. That that's really cool actually. Um and then I don't know, is is this considered your home club? Is Cascade Carding Association kind of your home club or Yeah, I can uh, kind of seem to race where wherever the racing's going on, but yeah, most likely. Yeah. Well, here it is. Uh they they released their Sizzlin' Saturday Summer Speedway schedule uh this week. Um there's going to be it's a six race series. They're going to kick it off Saturday, May 23rd, with a practice and orientation day. And I guess if there is racing, uh, it's 35 bucks and it's all you can race. So if you want to run three classes, you, you can. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to be. I guess it's going to depend on the number of, of turnout. And uh, so that's, uh, that's kind of that deal. Um, Then, uh, let's see. So that's going to be on the 23rd and, and a practice and orientation. Scott Sealcoat, um, one of the great sponsors here of the Northwest Race Report, he's going to be having a new racer orientation for all the new racers and new members so they get a uh, feel for procedures and how things are going and that kind of thing. I, I think that is a cool thing. You know, I, I don't know if you can remember when you were first getting started, but it, it can be – you can be, feel kind of lost when you're when you don't know what's going on. Oh, absolutely! And you know, a lot of the karting formats are are different than than what's run in so many other motorsports. So it's it's great to you know somebody like Scott jumping in and, and um, showing them kind of showing them the way and, and making people feel welcome. And that's that's what it's about. It truly is because I mean, you could lose a lot of people just because they're kind of like, man, I, I am not going to go through this, you know, uh, again. So. That's a smart idea. Scott uh, McDowell uh, handling that part of it. He's part of the uh, Cascade Card Association, which, by the way, is entirely a speedway-based uh, club. I mean, th there's no pavement here. It's all dirt track. They'll be running uh, at uh, the Stratoline ORV Park, and uh, but I'll let you know there. So that um, race one of the six-race series is going to be on the 24th, which is the day after, so it'll be a great weekend of racing there. And uh, the race is going to work out to be once a month, Basically, I think June twentieth is the next one, and so on. There's one a month, except for August fifteenth and sixteenth, which will be the uh, third annual BB three, the Betty Boop Memorial, and uh, that's a cool race uh, for Betty Singleton, great lady who uh, left us way too soon. And then the regular uh, Sizzling Sunday, in this case, will be on the sixteenth, and it'll be a points race. So both the Betty Boop and the uh, Sunday race are points races. The sixth and final race will be September 12th, 35 bucks for 15 and under for an entry fee, 45 bucks for the adults, and 55 for the pro open and UAS. But 10 of that goes into the uh, to the payout, so that's that's still pretty reasonable. Yamaha light and heavy, uh, they got a new sealed LO206 cage cart class that they're going to be uh, starting up. The five horse opens, which I'm going to assume are flatheads, but maybe you know th there's some other ones. Um, and uh, let's see. And then they're going to have, the, of course, the CKA Sportsman and then the Pro Open and UAS classes on the docket. So, But any class that's got three or more will, be, uh, will run, and they're encouraged to show up. So, like, the AKRA Builder Prepared guys should probably definitely come. And um, 
cool stuff. Yeah, no, it's a great track out there, and if you haven't had the chance to run it, it it's a fun one. Uh, it's definitely a little momentum track and um, fits all the classes really well. You know, the Opens have just enough power there, and uh, um, their Sportsman class was, was really probably the ticket last year. Big numbers, and it's great. You get all, all the ages involved, too. Yeah, and, and that's for the older Reed's Rotaries, right? I mean, it was like 98 or 99 and older, so I don't know. That's still a good deal. I well, mean, what's nice is it's it's all the uh, what used to be considered the open motors. Absolutely. Um, you know, they're just not competitive anymore. You know, people still have them. They're nice. They're inexpensive. And, uh, you know, you can take one off the shelf and go out there and run it and have some fun. It's It's been a great class, and it, you got a bunch of different engine packages, so you can be competitive with what uh, almost whatever you have. And, and that's really the key is, is keeping everybody competitive. You know, Ray Smith, <laughs> thanks for tuning in, Ray. He's the president of the uh, Snake River Carters, and he said – uh, const, a consistent driver and rookie orientation is the best method for retaining and building driver and memberships. So take heed, people. I mean, it, it only makes sense. I mean, um, take care of those newbies. That, that, that's really, um, man, I mean, you don't want to shun your, your veterans, but it's the new guys you want to keep coming back. Well, absolutely. You know, and uh, you get a new guy excited, and, and he's going to tell all of his friends about it, and, and you know, hopefully something like that kind of snowballs and get more and more people. Yeah, you would think that's one one but sometimes it's not. You know, we just kind of get assumption we're used to it, and it's old hat and old news, and so, you know, you kind of forget about those guys. So smart move uh, by CKA, and I, and I think that's just a uh, long time coming. They've got some new blood in there, and, you know, uh, uh, Tower doing a nice, Lippy doing a good job there as president, and taking care of business, and then you got McDowell doing some good things, trying to get the junior classes back, which have been all but zero. So um, awesome, man. That, that, that's cool stuff. So be sure you check that out. Uh, you can go to CascadeCarding.org, uh, or you can uh, you can go to uh, Seal Coat Inc. If you have more questions and information, that's Scott McDowell's email. Um, hit him up on there and uh, ask him a question, especially if you have any questions on the LO206 uh class there for the cage carts um i'm hoping they do get some cage carts up there because that would only help yeah i know i know he's really uh, really pushing that and and they got a lot of the intermediate carts running around so it's it's a cool way for uh kids to get involved in it and you and know. you don't need a and it takes the builder out of it because that's a sealed unit so you just basically put it on and you know change the oil i guess and run with it yeah i've heard really good things about that uh that 206 motor so hopefully it takes off and becomes a nice easy package for somebody Hey, Dick's in the house, All right on. Good to have him with us. Um, yeah, Ray Smith says, huge shout-out to Cascade Karting and their efforts. You know, that's what we all got to do as clubs and as uh, a group in the whole. We, we got to support one another. That's really what it all boils down to. Hey, what's working for one club? They need to be spreading the word to the other club and saying, hey, we did this, this, and this, and, and, and it worked. So, um, I, that's – Yeah, absolutely, you know. Uh, all the clubs around here, they're they're far enough apart that we're, they're not competing. You know, they're not competing for numbers. So if we can all work together and and share what's working, then then yeah, just grow it as a as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. And the races are going to be at Stradline RV Park. That's in McCleary, Washington. Um, like I said, they're going to be introducing that new junior cage car class with the uh, Briggs and Stratton LO206. That's a sealed motor. The five horse opens. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll give you that email one more time. It's Seal Coat Inc. Seal Coat Inc. at uh, msn.com. So be sure you, uh, and then you stop by their uh, Cascade Carning page on Facebook and like them. And uh, absolutely, Dicks, that's the other thing. Is we got to give a shout to the volunteers because those are the unsung heroes, the corner workers, the people that work the scales, all that stuff. You know, the show doesn't go on without them, as well as the, uh, you know, the safety guys. So um, definitely a uh, big shout out to the volunteers. March 7th and 8th, Big race Arama uh, is going to be happening at Meridian Speedway. It's going to be a double mains format. Are you familiar with that? I'm not, actually. It's uh, kind of a cool setup, though. Yeah. I mean, you qualify, and that sets you up for Feature 1. Then the finish of Feature 1 is the lineup for Feature 2. Uh, you know, on Feature 2.